We are still dealing with two dimensional flows, but now we focus on the important topic of limit cycles. So this lecture is going to be an introduction to limit cycles. A limit cycle is an isolated closed trajectory. Isolated means that neighboring trajectories are not closed, i.e. they will either spiral away or move towards the limit cycle. If all neighboring trajectories approach the limit cycle, then the limit cycle is deemed stable. Otherwise, the limit cycle is deemed unstable. So now let's try and visualize a stable and an unstable limit cycle. Here nearby trajectories are approaching the limit cycle and so we have a stable limit cycle. In this case neighboring trajectories are moving away from the limit cycle and so we have an unstable limit cycle. Stable limit cycles are very important scientifically. They model systems that exhibit self-sustained oscillations. For example, the beating of a heart, the periodic firing of a pace maker neuron or the daily rhythms in human body temperature. In essence, if the system is perturbed slightly, it always returns to the standard cycle. Limit cycles are inherently nonlinear phenomena. They do not occur in linear systems. Now we know that a linear system x dot is equal to ax can actually have closed orbits but they will not be isolated. So basically if x of t is a periodic solution then so is c times x of t for any constant c not equal to 0. So x of t is surrounded by a one parameter family of closed orbits. So now let's visualize this through a figure. We have a closed orbit we have another closed orbit x of t and we have another closed orbit c times x of t. So the amplitude of a linear oscillation is set entirely by its initial conditions. So any disturbance to the amplitude will last forever. However, in a limit cycle, the oscillations are determined by the structure of the underlying system. Now let's look at an example. Consider the system r dot is equal to r1 minus r square and theta dot is equal to 1 where r is greater than or equal to 0 the radial and the angle dynamics are in fact uncoupled and hence can be studied separately. So if we treat r dot is equal to r 1 minus r square as a vector field on the line then r star is equal to 0 is a unstable fixed point and r star is equal to 1 is a stable fixed point. 
So now visualize this through a figure. So we plot R dot versus R. We highlight the unstable fixed point and the stable fixed point. So that's at 0 and 1. In the plane, all trajectories except R star is equal to 0 approach the unit circle R star is equal to 1 monotonically. The motion in the theta direction is just rotation at constant angular velocity. So all trajectories spiral asymptotically towards a limit cycle at r is equal to 1. So let's visualize this again through a figure. We have a limit cycle. We have the unstable fixed point at 0. And note in the limit cycle that nearby trajectories are actually approaching the limit cycle. In this lecture, we had a very brief introduction to limit cycles. A limit cycle is a closed trajectory that is isolated. Isolated essentially means that any nearby trajectories will not be closed. They will either spiral in towards the limit cycle or spiral away from the limit cycle. Just as with fixed points, we can have stable fixed points and unstable fixed points. Similarly, with limit cycles, we can have stable limit cycles and we can have unstable limit cycles. Now recall that in a linear system, so you have x dot is equal to ax, we could have closed orbits. But the key difference is that those closed orbits are not isolated. So if x of t is a periodic solution coming from a linear system, then c times x of t, where c is a constant which is not equal to 0, will also be a periodic solution. So the key difference between these periodic orbits coming out of linear systems and a limit cycle is that in the limit cycle, nearby trajectories will either converge to the limit cycle or will spiral away, as opposed to closed orbits coming from a linear system, even if you perturb it a little bit or have another solution in an epsilon neighborhood of that particular periodic orbit, that itself could be a periodic solution as well.